today's video, I'm going to be talking about, I don't even know what I'm going to name this video yet, but I'm going to talk about my experiences auditioning for like dance unis and colleges, and I've done both of them. <laughs> As it is September, obviously people are going to be applying for UCAS now or like going to colleges and auditioning, so I thought it's a good time to do this video because auditions are going to start soon like around Christmas time so this gives you a bit of an insight into some of the auditions that I've been to that you might want to go to um but yeah that's it what I'd recommend before I go into auditions is buying a book it's like I did I bought this and I basically journaled my experience at the auditions which is obviously coming in handy now because there's some things in this that, like i forgot happened in the audition so first of all i'm going to start with colleges i only auditioned into two colleges one was a local college near my house not really near my house but the area that i live in and that audition was literally i think i just did a solo this is one that i very vaguely remember um, I only started writing about my auditions in for college at uni, so I don't have it in here. But yeah, I swear it was just a solo. It was just based off your GCSEs. The second college I auditioned for was Lipper. So again, I don't actually have the experience of the audition for Lipper because I didn't audition when everybody else auditioned. I auditioned literally about a week before we started <laughs> but that was a slipper six form so there's a lot of dust flying around um i went and we did a warm-up um so it was with like the head of dance um we just did a warm-up it was actually just me there and we did a bit of ballet a bit of contemporary and then i did a solo and then i had an interview afterwards um, but that was basically it. Got into both of them. The first one I actually went to, but then left. And then that's why I auditioned a week before Lipper started and then got into Lipper. So I ended up doing three years of college, but it was worth it. I have no idea how they actually audition now because we were the first year to ever go there. There is so much dust flying around. What is going on? Yeah, I don't know how they audition now, but that was what it was like. And I think that's pretty much average for anywhere, like any performance colleges. Anyways, on to unis, which I think are obviously harder to get into. So, me book. So the first place that I auditioned was Edge Hill. Personally, for me, out of the four that I want to talk about, it was the easiest. I don't know why. I mean, everyone was amazing there, but it was just the one that I was less nervous for and felt quite chill. I, mean, I feel like it was a good first uni audition as it kind of like eased me into it. So, um, what did we do? We registered and went into the theatre, which I forgot about this. Like this lady did like a presentation. I don't think it was just for, I think it was mainly about Edge Hill, the uni itself and like the course. Um, as everyone in there did wasn't doing dance they were doing all different things so you do like have a presentation um with a lady i think might be the principal i'm not too sure after the presentation we got taken into a dance studio and started warming up i feel like we just did our own warm-up i'm not too sure i think it's a bit of 50 50 i think they warmed us up and we stretched after and then we did contemporary first i said i found this easy and enjoyable um, I feel like the, it wasn't too like crazy contemporary, like it was very, very Martha Graham like actually. Um, yeah, I quite liked it. it was a, there was a bit of floor work, um, but no, I, I enjoyed it. It was nice. The teacher was really nice. And then the, we had a, another lady came in and did the jazz with us um the jazz was again quite easy enjoyable let me just say we did the jazz routine different woman found it easy to pick up with the mirrors but then when we went to smaller groups the teacher yes yeah, so basically we did everything in front of the mirrors and i went into smaller groups to like audition basically 
and they have like a curtain across the mirror so they, they pulled that so you can't see yourself but personally I, I even said in this I actually did better without the mirrors than I did with the mirrors Um, I don't know why but I did Um, really enjoyed it was a good little routine you could really it was a routine that wasn't too hard and you could really perform it and go for it is how I felt Um, so that's what I did I think that's all the dancing that we did, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's all the dancing you do. So then afterwards, we went into like a little room, like a computer, not a computer room, but you had like a, a screen. And they just shown you videos of like the past students, like their successes, uh, which was quite interesting. Obviously quite like inspiring as well. So that was cool. And like they show us like pieces of their past performances at the at the uni so then we'd like talk about it afterward and like discuss it what we thought um but yeah it was actually really good I did enjoy it and then they then spoke about the course more and then that's when I think I realized that maybe it's a bit too academic for me <laughs> just that particular course um but anyways enjoyed it was a nice first audition um yeah I wasn't that nervous either anyways However, so I got offered Edge Hill. Next one is Shock Out, which is where I go to. Um, so this one I was nervous for, uh, being completely honest. I wasn't sure if I wanted to go there. Like my heart was set on Lippa because that's obviously where I went to college, but I was still very nervous. The competition was very, very high. Um, anyways. Let's start. I thought the ballet was quite simple, which <laughs> I don't know. I feel like because ballet is probably the one that I've done for the longest, I found it quite simple and easy, um, which is obviously good again because then I could really perform. Um, they did do it quite quick, so uh, my teacher, who actually I actually have now, my, the teacher would demonstrate it maybe once or twice and you would do it at the bar but I enjoyed it I found it the easiest out of the the three so you do in the audition you do ballet jazz and commercial um so ballet obviously found the easiest and then it just got harder and harder <laughs> anyway jazz was next with the same teacher um I feel like it's not now but now it's different teachers that do it um, but anyway, still kind of same style. I found the jazz was hard to pick up. You did like a jazz routine. I think the ballet was just at the bar. We just did bar work. If we did do any center, I don't think we did. I think maybe we did like um, adage and like tondus maybe in the center. Uh, maybe some pirouettes, I'm not too sure. Um, but the jazz I found hard hard to pick up it was very very fast very energetic level like it I mean it, it was it was a sick routine loved it but I did find it quite hard to pick up um but I mean fly please go away and then I put commercial it was amazing it's actually quite sad because I actually never ended up getting taught by the commercial teacher that we had in the audition because she left um like after a year of us being there and um, not because of us that sounds like it's because of us it's not <laughs> but I think I did have a bit of an advantage in the commercial because they wouldn't know this but I did the Easter intensive that was um at the uni I did it before the audition and the same teacher did the same routine and commercial at the time still kind of is is my weaker point so I was like oh my god like I already know the routine. I already know it. Like she started doing the first few moves and I was like, I know this. I know this. And me and another girl who went to my college who went to the East Intensive. Oh no, did she? Yeah, I think she did. Becky Davidson, if you're watching this, did you be on my audition? I can't remember now. Somebody was in my audition that went to the Easter intensive because then I looked at them, they looked at me and we were like, oh my God, we already know it. We already know the dance. <laughs> so that was sick. I 
again because I technically already knew it I smashed it <laughs> I didn't smash it but I could then concentrate on my performance etc so after commercial you went into another room but then you all individually go back in one by one and do an interview with the principal um so you sit opposite the table and I think it all gets recorded as well. So you just use chats to you, ask you where else you've auditioned, what your plans are for the future, like again, what your strong points are, what your weaknesses are, um, why you want to go to the uni, etc. And then you do a solo. So you can either, I think you can either do a dance, a song or a monologue. I'm not too sure. And that's now, but back then I think you could only do a solo dancing or solo singing um i obviously did a dance <laughs> i'm not a singer and then you just oh yeah she also discusses the, the different courses that you can go on at shock out so when i was there there was actually no performing arts when i auditioned there is now so the only courses that there were was the ba honors of three years or the four year with foundation and I got offered the four year with foundation which at first I was like oh my god I don't want to do it like what three years I'm already a year behind blah 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 but year extra training at the end of the day so that's that <laughs> did my solo and that was basically it you just went back in the changing rooms and went home I got in <laughs> okay now for the ones that I didn't get in <laughs> so the next audition I think was Lippa um, now Lippa's audition I was so nervous for because obviously it's the one that I wanted to get into however I didn't obviously get in but for that one um, we you had to prepare a song and that's it no that's not that's not no that's not it but so anyways first class was ballet so you all in the changing rooms so you all come in you have a number i forget so um edge hill so we didn't have any numbers i don't think I'm trying to think about it did i have a number maybe i did a shock out uh shock out lipper and erdang had you have like a number you wear your number so they know who you are um anyways you get given your number um and you go to the changing rooms, or get ready for ballet, and then you go into the main studio, the biggest studio that's in there, you probably see on Instagram and that, um, and you do ballet first with the head of dance, I think she's called Sarah, I'm not too sure, but you do ballet with her um, in quite small groups, I feel like it was really small groups, you do ballet in. And then you should also check your flexibility then as so well. You have to do splits um, th all three ways, I'm pretty sure. Um, but the ballet was fine. I think it was it was easy, but I think because I was so nervous, I was like, oh my God, oh my God. This is oh. The lip audition. I feel like it went all right, but because I was so nervous, I didn't do as well as like I could have done because I was just so scared. I was just like, I put a lot of pressure on myself for that audition. Anyways, whatever. Didn't get in, by the way. <laughs> Anyways, so, and then we did contemporary um, with another teacher. I didn't mind the contemporary, I thought it was all right. It was quite fun, you did things from the corner. Um, in the centre, you do a routine, so you do the whole thing. Um, where ballet, I think you also did the whole thing. I think you did, yeah, you did bar and centre. Um, but yeah, and then jazz again. I think we just did a routine for jazz. Maybe we did some pirouettes. I'm not too sure. But I loved, I loved the jazz actually. I loved the teacher. Um, I liked all the teachers. Um, but I remember jazz being like quite fun. And then did we take a there's two flies in my room what the hell anyway and then you went for an interview i think all the group because we're in those different groups they all just alternated so i don't actually know the order of it i can't remember but we did an interview with oh my god go away we did interviews with 
the teachers I had Darren Suarez um and I don't know why I said it I don't know why I said it but he was like you know what are your strong points blah 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 because I knew he was a Vogan like icon I was like oh I love Vogue like I don't know if I'm very good at it back I love it I don't I've never done it so don't lie in your auditions do not lie in your auditions because then I put even more pressure on myself because then he was like oh so um in your commercial when you do freestyle I'll expect to see you Vogue and I was like yeah 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 <laughs> oh no <laughs> So don't lie in your auditions. That's the only lie I've told. That's the only lie I've told. I just because I felt the pressure of him being there. Anyway, so um, he just like the other things that he asked was um, talk about what college you're at now. So I was like, oh, I'm at Lipper. Um, again, what what you want to do in the future? What your strengths are? What your weaknesses are? How you can improve them? Blah 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 very it's a very chilled conversation like it's not uh, i mean i'm saying that and i'm panicking but it is a very chilled conversation um yeah it, they, they're lovely they're really nice um in, in the interviews as well and then after that we did um our singing audition so there was a, a guy on a piano and a woman both really really nice like so nice um I know that a lot of people there was a lot of tears for some people I didn't cry I didn't cry because I think I just wanted to get it done with anyway so I did my singing um I think it went all right my singing like considering I'm not a singer it went a lot better than my ear dang I can tell you that singing was fine it made you feel really comfortable so yeah like if you want to take a break or you want to start again like it's fine i think i did though i think i just did it the once and then they just tell you to stop like okay that's enough you don't have to do the whole song i don't think did i do the whole song no for erdang i didn't anyway i did the song it was fine and then i got ready for commercial and you do commercial with craig warmby um and it was amazing i loved it it was so like fiery and like sassy it was sick and obviously do freestyle <laughs> don't do voguing if you can't vogue oh my god what an idiot i think anybody knows that either like that i said that and then tried to do it um so yeah when you in the commercial i think all the teachers are there on the panel um and they're all watching you but it was, it, I loved it. I loved the commercial, it was so good. Um, and that was it, that was Lipper done. Didn't get in. But I'm glad I get to shock out now. Like I love it, okay, anyways. Last audition was Erdang. So you had to prepare two songs, one was a ballad and one was a more beat song. You got there and again, like all the groups will be all different, like in the order of how you do things. But I had ballet first. Um, we also had to prepare a monologue as well, because it was all singing, dancing, acting. Did ballet first, actually really enjoyed the ballet. It was really good, I enjoyed it lots. Um, the teacher was very, very nice. I think he was from somewhere, not the UK. Um, but again, very, very nice. And then you get changed and go straight into jazz, I'm pretty sure. Do we do? Why can I not remember if we did jazz or not? I'm pretty sure we did do jazz. I do, however, remember the commercial and it was amazing. The teacher was so sassy and like savage. I was like, <laughs> but it made it funny. Like it made you feel comfortable because the teacher was being funny and like, sassy. I don't know, but I enjoyed it. And again, like you have a panel the whole time as well. Um, the principal sat there. And then you go into like smaller groups, do the routine, freestyle at the end. But I loved the commercial. I mean, I loved, I loved all the commercials in all the schools. Um, I was Edge Hill didn't do commercial, but the other ones, I loved them. Because I think it's just, although it's still scary, they normally do it at the end and it's more like fun. Um, and then we had to do, obviously it was singing, and 
you do get to pick which one you sing out of the two that you've been practicing um and I was worried that he was going to pick the other one. They can then ask you, can I have your other song instead? Once you start singing your first song, um, like, oh, actually, can you sing the other one? Luckily for me, they only, I mean, luckily for them probably as well, they only asked me to sing the one song and then stopped me at, like, halfway through. That, however, was horrendous. It's the worst I've ever sang in my life. The girl before me was sick and I was like oh my god I could hear her and she was amazing and I was like wait I've got to go in next and I just can't sing and it's probably the worst I've ever done it my voice broke it was horrendous like, no wonder they were like okay thank you please leave <laughs> um monologue monologue was okay I did ask to start again once because I think I was just so nervous I just forgot the lines but again, the teacher was so nice and understanding. She's like, just take your time, like do it again, blah, blah, blah. And then it was fine, like it went all right. Um, and then that was the audition over with, pretty sure. And that's all of them I did not get into the dang. Probably because of my singing. <laughs> I feel like I did all right in the dancing. Like I loved her dang when I went. I felt like the good vibes, like I felt, you know when you go to a place if you feel the vibe or not. Um, but yeah, things that I would recommend doing, especially if you have singing um, in your audition, I'd recommend having singing lessons because I did, shock, I did have singing lessons prior to my auditions because obviously, yeah, you can practice singing with the backing track, but when you go into audition, it's going to be a piano and it's so different. So I definitely recommend getting a singing teacher and just going every week, just practicing with them. They'll help you with it. You'll know how it's gonna sound with the piano. And then also you can ask at the audition, oh, you do it in this key, cause that's my like range or whatever. Where with the backing track, you're not, you're not gonna know that. Um, that definitely helps. Practice your monologue in front of people. I did not do that cause I was so scared. And that's why I think got a bit of stage fright when I had my monologue. What else would I recommend in auditions? I mean, I'll probably do a separate video on like tips for auditions for unis um, and colleges. And um, let me know if you would like that. But I think that's it for my, that's my video. <laughs> that was my experiences. I loved all of them. Um, they are scary, but it is what it is. They're meant to be scary. But as long as you enjoy it, then that's all that it matters, um, even if it's scary. But anyways, that's it for today's video, I think. Have I got anything else to say? I don't think so. Um, if you did enjoy, please like, comment and subscribe. Maybe leave in the comments below if you got this far. This is quite a long video. If you got this far, leave a ballet shoes emoji because it's quite fitting. <laughs> yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.